An upstate community honoring a hero more than 100 years after giving his life for our country. Clemson Sunrise Rotary Club organized a sunset ceremony where Corporal Freddy Stowers grew up. Now, the upstate native was the first African-American awarded the Medal of Honor in World War I. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer has the story you'll see only on Fox. And we are thankful. Though she never met her uncle, Tony Stowers Jackson says he left a lasting impression on her life. I did not know him. I'm like everybody else, but the things I know about him today as I began to come down through here, tears just invariably tears come. Her uncle, U.S. Army Corporal Freddie Stowers, was killed in action during a battle on French soil on September 28th, 1918. 102 years later, his legacy has not been forgotten. A memorial in the Sandy Springs Community Park reminds people of the sacrifice he made and how important it is today. Not only the Black Lives Matter, it mattered then as well, but today especially, since that it has come, become a camaraderie between all, all facets of, of people. The veterans, those of us that are just rank and file, those of us that are just family members, I'm so glad to see that there is a camaraderie that's here today amongst all of us. President George H.W. Bush presented the Medal of Honor to Corporal Stowers' family in 1991. He also received the Purple Heart. And years following his death, the community says his memory lives on. During World War One, when, when a lot of people of color weren't even uh, serving this country, but there were some, and he was one. And the fact that he was one, not only who served his country with distinction, but went over to give his life. Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News. Corporal Stowers memorabilia can be viewed in several places around the upstate, including the Anderson County Museum, Clemson's African American Museum, and Anderson University.